Hello everyone, welcome to Patshala. In the last video, we have seen simple RNN. In this video, we are going to see what are the problems with simple RNN and how to tackle with these problems with the help of GRU, that is gated recurrent units. Simple RNN suffers from two problems. First problem is it suffers from short term memory. So it cannot be used in long term dependencies. It is very difficult to learn long term dependencies with the help of simple RNN. For example, if we are dealing with a very large sentence and at the last, last word is actually depending on the first word which is far away from the last word. In such cases, there is no any way to bind the relationship between these two because we haven't used which information is important from the sentence in order to decide last part of the sentence. So this is first problem. Second problem, it suffers from vanishing gradient descent. So if we are adding more and more simple RNNs in the neural network, then at some point that neural network will not be learnable learning will be very less due to vanishing the gradient problem. So let's take one example in order to understand these problems. So we have a sentence the cat which already ate the mouse dash dash full. So in the dash dash place we have to place was or where. So this was or where is actually depending on the initial part of the sentence that is the cat. Since we have used the cat we have to use was over there. But we need to have something that will memorize that we have used cat at the initial part of the sentence which will provide a reference or context while feeling was or where at the blank position. So the solution is we have to use memory cell to memorize the certain things which are really important in order to perform the specific task. The network does have the ability to remove the information or add the information in such a memory lock with the help of carefully regulated structures called as gates. So we know that job of gate is to allow some uh, someone else into the building or uh, deny the entry into the building. Same case is here in the neural network. Okay, so now let's see the structure of gated recurrent units. So there are two types of gates used in gated recurrent unit. First is update gate and second is reset gate. So let's concentrate on update gate. So in update gates, we are going to consider previous states coming from the previous timestamp. It is represented by H T minus one and the current input X T. We are going to consider two these two entities to decide which information need to be passed in the next timestamp. So we are going to perform matrix addition after performing W T minus one into W T minus one H and W X H t into xt we are going to perform matrix addition of these two outputs after that we will apply sigmoid activation function and its output will be zt if we are getting output as one or close to one then that information is important and we need to pass this information to the next state if the output is zero then this information is not so important and we have to skip this information. So this is all about update gate. Now coming to reset gate. Reset gates will decide what past information need to be forget. 
okay so here again we are going to perform output coming from the previous step after multiplying with its weight vector and output coming from the input after applying uh, that input with its weight vector so the addition of uh, those matrices will be done and again we are going to apply that over here with sigmoid activation function the output is rt so this particular scenario or setup will perform the task which information need to be forget okay output of this is important to decide the actual output ht how let's see that okay so this this is previous state coming from the previous timestamp now we have to calculate h dash t so this is actually the calculation this is actually the output that need to be generated as a part of calculation for this timestamp but instead of uh, directly calculating this h t is calculated by performing matrix addition of dot product of previously previous state and the calculation that we are going to do over here okay so here we are performing summation of mat matrix addition of input x along with the dot product of ht minus 1 and rt after that we are applying tan h activation function to it which will provide us ht dash so ht dash is the actual calculation of this timestamp but whether this timestamp's value is important that will be decided by the zt value so if zt value is 0 then 1 minus zt will be 1 so it is indicating that this information is at most important and we need to forward this as it is if zt value is 1 then 1 minus zt will be 0 and it is saying that previous information is important not this one so none of the information will be passed to this okay after performing addition of these two dot products we are going to generate this ht ht will be current output of gru and it will be forwarded to the underlying neural network so gru includes two gate first is update gate and second is reset gate update gate decides which information need to be passed and the reset gate will decide which information should be forget okay so let's understand how to use this gru in tensorflow 2.0 models with the help of coding tutorial okay we are going to continue with the same example that we have used in simple rnn in simple rnn we have used imdb data set for identifying sentiments of movie review so we are going to continue with the same example we have imported required libraries then we have loaded imdb data set with the help of load underscore data method after that we have printed fifth review along with its true label associated with it we have also printed the vocabulary that is learned already by imdb then we have performed padding operation so if a review length is less than 500 we have padded uh, those reviews with the help of zero after that we have created a model that model is sequential model first is embedding layer after that we have used three simple rnn layers and ultimately we have used uh, dense layer in the last to identify whether given piece of text is positive or negative then we have used rms prop as an optimizer binary cross entropy as a loss accuracy as a matrix and we have trained our model we have get accuracy close to 81 percent validation accuracy is 57 percent so this model suffers from high variance that is overfitting now the same model is used same model is used but with the help of gr units in the next cell how to create gr unit gru 
layer is present inside this so we have to use that layer and how many units of GRU we want to use that we have to specify over here same as that of uh, L simple RNN we have to use return sequence is equal to true in order to distinguish whether we want to work with uh, the uh, only one output or the output generated at each time stamp okay so return sequence is equal to true says that we have to provide output of each time stamp to the next set of units the next uh, layer is again GRU with 50 uh, units after that we have used 25 units in the last GRU units in the last layer of the model we have used again dense layer with one neuron with activation function as sigmoid after that we have used optimizer is equal to RMS prop loss is equal to binary cross entropy and matrix is equal to accuracy same as that of the simple rn we have used model dot fit for training the model and we can observe that accuracy is increased to 88 percent compared to the simple rnn at the same time validation accuracy is also 82 percent somewhat closer to the training accuracy okay so we have reduced the overfitting problem from which simple RNN was suffering we have used same number of the layers over here so where is the change the change is only in the layer instead of using simple RNN we have to use gated recurrent unit layer and we have studied basic theory of gated recurrent unit just now and this, these are the graphs we have observed for the gated recurrent units. So in summary, I can say that gated recurrent units are quite finer than the simple RNN while working with the long sentences where dependency plays an important role. Thank you for watching the video.